We just had a gully washer. It's rained on and off all day, but this one lasted for about 25 minutes. Just solid, solid rain. <clears throat> Mumbles man went to the land of Nada yesterday and he gave everybody down there to Mumbles. I'm glad I was working. He's back to the chain man now. Got him a nice 14K gold chain. I'll put the pictures of it in the back of this video so you can see it. This one, a nice ticket. I thought he went today, but so far I ain't got a report, so I got a feeling he hadn't, he didn't go. <clears throat> 10 or 15 years ago, maybe 20 years ago, <clears throat> I don't know, before Anderson made aluminum shafts like this one, they, can't, they also make carbon fiber ones like this. This is what I use now for my x -Cal, carbon fiber shaft. Anderson in Canada. <clears throat> this is an aluminum one, like I said. This is just a spare. But before all those times, we would go to... Here we have a place called West Marine, sells marine supplies. We would buy aluminum boat tubing, the same exact size as these guys make the shafts out of. And I can tell you that in a minute because this still has a sticker on it. And it's 10 years old. There it is. Aluminum tubing 7 8 OD. 0 .0, 0 0.05 wall. And when we first started buying them, they were $9. Then they went up to 12 Then they went up to 18 <clears throat> It's uh, six foot long. I got no clue what it would cost today. Then we would buy arm cups. This particular one right here is a Detector Pro. All stainless steel, two piece. And I put a rubber thing inside of it. This is what it looks like when it's new. It's nice, nice arm cups right here. But they're a little pricey, but they're really nice. This is an Anderson front grip. Comes with the shaft. This is a one off a of GT, my lab GT. Sovereign that I never did use. I just bought it for a spare when I was making shafts. <clears throat> we all use bicycle grips, like you see here. I use them on my sharpers now to pick them up with and carry them around. <clears throat> That's what we use for grips on the front, and we put a rubber thing on them to make it feel good, you know. <coughs> That's just a tidbit of information I'm sharing with you this morning. When we open that box up, I'm going to show you something different. I mean, I don't know what I'm going to show you because I've never seen one of them, but it's going to look similar to this. I presume. Stand by. And what's something else I was going to show you? What was it? Oh, I'm not sure if this is Anderson rear cup arm cup or not I don't, I don't remember if I got another one in here anywhere I had two or three but I sold them when I sold all my other machines oh yeah no that's not one that's one from a Garrett I don't, must not have any more cup arm cups except those brand new ones that I showed you okay I'll get back to you in a minute my buddy's come to see me hi boo boo what I guess I'm trying to say is I sort of uh, broke tradition with this carbon fiber shaft in the fact that I bought this from William Quinn, a.k.a. Plugger. He's been building shafts for a long time. And nice shafts. I mean, nice, really nice. But I had never owned one of his shafts. And when I checked on the uh, Anderson ones, the damn Equinox is so popular that they're out of stock and they're going to be a while before you get them. A plugger makes several lengths. This is a 34-inch one, which is almost exactly <coughs> a copy of the one that comes with the factory. Plugger makes a 36-inch one and a 39-inch one. So let's get this ticket out of here and see what it looks like. Well, there it is. 
Let's take it outside with the lights better. Hold on a minute. Of my buddies who own the uh, plugger shafts and they all rave on them. Well, you get a plastic bag, got his car in it, rides by a plugger, and you get a nut. So I guess there's something under that that we're going to take a peek at. All I know, I've heard, I've heard great, great things about his connectors. This part right here, how good it is. And he sells these as a separate entity. You could actually buy this piece and use it on any kind of shaft that you want. I don't know what it costs or anything, but all I know is the Equinox shaft slides in there. Probably lines up with these holes right here. No, these holes right here. I guess that's where the uh, brain box bolts onto. I don't see any holes, any way to connect it through the bottom, so I guess I'll be a learning experience when I get it back. And here's where the arm cover goes, of course. Not rocket science there. Alright, that's all I can really show you until my Equinox returns. Which I'm hoping is Tuesday or Wednesday. I'll have to put this aside and make sure there's nothing in this little taquito here. Like I said, this is a 34 inch model. So. All right, I'll get back to you in a couple days on this. But I'm going to finish the video up now. When it comes in, I'll put it together and we'll take another look at it. Timer's got me for a minute. <clears throat> I forgot I have my uh, coil and my arm cup. So I stuck that on here. Now, all I got to do is figure out how the box goes on here control box through those holes right there I don't have the other one because it was connected to the control box when I sent it off that's all he wanted was the upper part of the equinox so uh, I maybe I couldn't be I got this piece upside down but anyway <clears throat> this tightens on to the carbon fiber this looses and goes in and out and tightens up around the shaft itself that's a, they'd say that's a hell of a rig right now. I like it already. I like it already a lot. Anyway, we can hang this up <clears throat> and be done with this for a few days. Now I'll get back to you. Okay, there's a Mumbles Man nut from yesterday morning. <clears throat> Something 14K. He didn't say how long it was, but you can see it's pretty long. You can see what happened to it. It snatched a little pelican thing. I mean, a lobster claw right apart. And Mother Nature, the wave goddess, took it. And hid it away for a short spell. <clears throat> until the equinox came by. Beach one, sensitivity at 14. One guy was down there with the CTX, he could hear it. Another guy was down there with the X-Cal, he could not hear it. <coughs> but that don't mean the X-Cal wouldn't hear it. 90% of the people who use the X-Cal don't know how to use it. And I'm not going into that, but those of you who know how to use it know what I'm talking about. The chain man, the mumbles man. He gave them all the mumbles yesterday. All right, that's all I got. I'll see you.